Kamila Ramasabu Wahab from Al Mahira International Islamic Boarding School, Malang. Today, I am going to be telling you a story of one of the most amazing heroes of Indonesia, Martha Christina Tiahabu. It was a fine day out, and Captain Paulus Tiahabu had just arrived at home from his duty as a warrior in the war against the colonial cruelty of the Netherlands in the 19th century. With a red band that she always wore on the upper part of her head, a young lady named Martha greeted her father with blazing pride. Father, father, you finally came home. How is it like to literally work for the country? Her dad replied with, Oh my daughter, I've missed you so much. Everybody who does all their work lives under the spirit towards the country's plunging to freedom. It's working for the country, Martha. Everybody. Long story short, Martha was encouraged to be part of the battlefield struggle. It was in the age of 17 when Martha, along with her father and other several world leaders, came into a tight discussion in a midst of a dark forest about a strategy. The village of Ao, on the southeast of Sabawa Island, was yet another victim. The unforgiving and human Dutch soldiers were in the village until all homes were as flat as the ground. Seeing this, Martha had swore to never give up. In the midst of the chaos, Martha looked around and shouted, Everybody, this is our land. This is the land on which we were born. Don't let those colonialists take away from us. And so, the citizens of Al stood up and started attacking back for the sake of the land's dignity. Liberty or death was their mother that was known to keep their spirits up. But sadly, Martha and the others were defeated by those foes. Some were killed and some were even thrown away on the island of Java. How much more miserable was it for Martha to see that one of the very people being threatened to be killed was her own father. From a distance, bordered by a barrier, she saw it all on how they beated his father and treated him in disrespectful ways. <laughs> Let go of my father in exchange. Let me die instead. Let me die as a punishment <laughs> instead of my father. Martha wept in her heart. But to the Dutch soldiers, a life of a father means nothing to a daughter. To them, it wasn't their job to grant little Martha's wish. They had no mercy at all. In a matter of seconds, the most precious seconds of Martha's life, finally, the sound was heard. Bam! A bullet had gone through the captain's head. For a moment, Martha felt nothing. Then she asked herself, did my father just die in front of me? This is a dream, isn't it? And so was the end of a hero that meant everything to you, Martha. After her father's death, Martha wanted to continue her father's struggle. She entered the forest with her troops. But suddenly, the troops of the Dutchman seized all of her troops. The government of the Dutchman sent Martha to the island of Java. But sadly, on board, Martha got sick. She did not want to eat or drink. She did not even want to drink any medicine. And so she was very ill. <coughs> and finally, Martha Christina Iahahu passed away. 
Her dead body was buried in the sea between two islands, Buru Island and Iga Island. She was buried by a Dutchman on the ship. And that was the end of the story of Martha Cristina Piahabu. Piahabu is considered a national heroine of Indonesia. She has also been honored with two statues, one in Ambon and one in Abubu. For other namesakes include Warship Street, Malcolm's Social Organization, and Women's Magazine. The story of Martha Piahabu teaches us to be strong, brave, and fearless women. But the point is, no matter what your gender, your background, your ethnicity is, you can still fight for your own country. Thank you so much for listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.